Have you ever questioned the authenticity of the world map as you know it? Think about that familiar image that's been etched into your mind since childhood. A colourful patchwork of countries and continents neatly tucked between the vast expanses of the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. The one that's been imprinted in textbooks, plastered on classroom walls and casually used as a backdrop in news broadcasts worldwide. This image isn't a random creation, but a carefully crafted projection known as the Mercator map, named after its creator, Gerardus Mercator. Back in 1569, this Flemish cartographer and geographer set out to create a map that would revolutionize navigation for seafarers. His goal? To represent the spherical Earth on a flat surface while maintaining consistent direction. A daunting task indeed. Imagine trying to peel an orange and lay the skin flat. It's almost impossible to do without tearing the skin or distorting its shape. That's the challenge Mercator faced. His solution? A map that could be easily used for navigation, where a straight line would represent a constant compass bearing. But achieving this came with its own set of compromises. The Mercator projection, while brilliant for its intended purpose, has a significant flaw. It distorts the size and shape of land masses as you move away from the equator, making countries near the poles appear larger than they are. For instance, on this map, Greenland appears to be the same size as Africa, when in reality, Africa is about 14 times larger. This might seem like a minor detail, but it's a distortion that has been accepted and propagated around the globe. It's this image of the world that has shaped our understanding of global geography, influencing our perception of countries and continents. But what if this familiar image of our planet is not as correct as you think? What if the world map as you know it is a distorted version of reality. As we delve deeper, prepare to have your geographical perceptions challenged and perhaps completely turned upside down. The Mercator projection, while popular, is a distorted view of reality. Now you might be wondering, how can a map, a tool designed to represent our world, distort our perspective? Well, let me explain the Mercator projection created by the Flemish geographer and cartographer Gerardus Mercator in 1569 has been a staple in classrooms and atlases for centuries. However, it's not as accurate as you might think. In fact, it's quite a distorted version of the world, especially when it comes to the size and shape of land masses, particularly near the poles. The projection was designed for navigation and thus it presents lines of constant course as straight lines, which is an attractive feature for sailors and aviators. However, this causes the scale of the map to increase from the equator towards the poles, leading to a distorted representation of size and shape. For instance, Greenland appears to be the same size as Africa on the Mercator map, when in reality Africa is nearly 14 times larger. Similarly, Europe seems larger than South America, while the truth is just the opposite. This distortion is even more pronounced as we go further north or south from the equator. The reason behind this distortion is that the Mercator projection tries to project our three-dimensional world onto a two-dimensional surface. And in this process it inflates the size of areas far from the equator and deflates those close to it. This leads to an exaggerated perception of the Northern Hemisphere, with countries like Canada and Russia appearing much larger than they actually are. Simultaneously, countries near the equator, such as those in Africa and South America, are drastically reduced in size, giving a skewed image of their actual proportions. So, the map that you've known and used all these years isn't quite the faithful representation of the world that you might have thought it was. It's a distorted image, a warped view of reality. So, if the map you know isn't accurate, then what does the world really look like? That's the question we'll delve into next, peeling back the layers of distortion to reveal the world in its true proportions. Welcome to the world of more accurate map projections. Now, it's time to introduce you to some alternative map projections that represent the world in more accurate proportions. Let's start with the Gaul Peters projection. This map, unlike the familiar Mercator, is an equal area projection. This means it preserves the relative sizes of Earth's continents and oceans, though at the cost of distorting their shapes a bit. 
In this map, Africa and South America appear much larger relative to Europe and North America, reflecting their true sizes. The Gold Peters projection is a powerful tool for visualizing the real world. It's a reminder that the world is not as it often appears on our screens or in our textbooks. It's larger, more diverse and vastly more complex. Next, let's explore the Goods Homolocene projection. This intriguing map breaks away from the traditional rectangular format, instead opting for an interrupted orange peel-like layout. This projection, like the Gaul Peters, is an equal area map. It reduces the distortion of both size and shape by splitting the map into several sections, each of which is accurately represented. This makes the Goudet's Homolocene a fantastic tool for understanding the true proportions of our world. But what do these more accurate maps tell us? They reveal a world that is far more balanced in terms of land mass distribution. They show us a planet where Africa is not dwarfed by other continents, but rather takes its rightful place as the largest land mass. They offer us a perspective where the global south is not minimized, but rather is given its due representation. These maps may look odd at first glance. They may even challenge our preconceived notions about the world. But they are more than just geographical curiosities. They are tools for understanding, for questioning, for seeing the world as it really is. So the next time you look at a map, remember these alternative projections. Keep in mind the true proportions of our world. These maps may look odd, but they offer a more realistic portrayal of our planet. Why does it matter if our world map is off, you might wonder? Well, let's delve into the implications of using inaccurate maps. To start, Inaccurate maps can significantly skew our understanding of geography. When we look at a distorted map, we're not seeing the true size, shape or location of continents and countries. For instance, Africa is often depicted as being the same size as Greenland on many maps, when in reality it's about 14 times larger. This can lead to misconceptions and misunderstandings about the world we live in which can impact everything from education to policy decisions. Moreover, these inaccuracies can perpetuate Eurocentric views. Many of the maps we commonly use today, such as the Mercator projection, disproportionately enlarge areas that are farther from the equator and shrink those that are closer. This tends to overemphasize the size of Europe and North America, while downplaying the true size of continents like Africa and South America. This can subtly reinforce a worldview that places Western countries at the center and diminishes the importance of others. Furthermore, inaccurate maps can influence geopolitical power dynamics. By distorting the size of countries and continents, they can create a skewed image of global power. For instance, Russia, Canada and the United States appear much larger on many maps than they actually are, which can give the impression of greater geographic dominance. On the other hand, the depiction of smaller, less powerful countries as even smaller on the map can diminish their perceived significance on the global stage. In short, the inaccuracy of our maps is not a trivial issue. It shapes our perceptions of the world, influences our understanding of global power structures, and can even perpetuate biases and misconceptions. The world is not as it seems on the map, and this realization can change our perspective. Inaccurate maps have shaped our understanding of the world for centuries. It's time to challenge this perception. Traditionally, we've been conditioned to perceive the world through the lens of distorted maps. These maps, while practical for navigation, greatly misrepresent the true size and position of different countries. But what if we chose to see the world through a different lens, one that is more accurate and gives us a fresh perspective? Imagine the world not as a flat, two-dimensional plane, but as an intricate sphere, with each country represented in its true proportion. Visualize the vast expanses of Africa not as the medium-sized continent we're used to seeing, but as the behemoth it truly is. Picture Greenland not as the colossal landmass we've grown accustomed to, but as the relatively smaller island that it genuinely is. Now let's consider maps like the Orthograph or the Gaul Peters projection. These maps, while they may look unfamiliar or even strange at first, offer a more accurate portrayal of our world. The Orthograph, for example, 
maintains the areas of land masses and oceans while also preserving their shapes. The Gaul-Peters projection, on the other hand, accurately depicts the sizes of countries relative to each other, offering a reality check to our usual distorted view. These alternative maps not only provide a more realistic view of the world, but they also challenge our preconceived notions and biases. They remind us that the world is a vast, diverse place where no country is inherently superior or more significant than another. They teach us to recognize the true scale of our planet, to appreciate its diversity and to understand its interconnectedness. So let's start seeing the world not as it's been presented to us, but as it truly is. Let's challenge the narratives that have been handed down to us and start creating our own. Let's embrace the complexity and diversity of our world and learn to appreciate it in all its true proportions. Remember, the world is much more than what a distorted map can show. Keep questioning, keep exploring and keep reimagining the world around you. Subscribe for more videos like this. Turn on notification and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.